Kaftat is a village in the Dubrovnik Neretva county of Croatia. It is on the Adriatic Sea coast, 15 kilometers 9 miles south of Dubrovnik, and is the center of the Konavle municipality. The original city was founded by the Greeks in the 6th century BC under the name of Epidaurus. The surrounding area was inhabited by the Illyrians who called the city Zaptal. The town changed its name to Epidaurum when it came under Roman rule in 228 BC. Justinian I, the emperor of the Byzantine Empire sent his fleet to Kaftat during the Gothic War and occupied the town. The city was sacked and destroyed by the Avars and Slavs in the 7th century. Refugees from Epidaurum fled to the nearby island, Laos, which over time evolved into the city of Dubrovnik. The town was re-established in the Middle Ages after a short while, it came under the control of its powerful neighbor, the Republic of Ragusa. The modern Croatian name for the city reveals its ancient origins and its link with Dubrovnik. Kaftat is derived from Civita Svetus, which means old city in Latin language. Today, the city is a popular tourist destination with many hotels and private households that rent rooms and apartments. The seafront is filled with shops and restaurants. There are several beaches in Kaftat and its surroundings, among them Pasiaka, as well as Kyuchise, Obod, Rat and Sal. A ferry boat connects the town to neighboring Mlini and Dubrovnik. There are often many private luxury ships and yachts along the Strand. It was named most popular honeymoon destination in Europe for 2023 by European Best Destinations. In year 2004, Kaftat got the title European Competition for Towns and Villages in Blooms especially for the well tanned green areas and flower arrangements on the beach promenade. The Epidaurus Festival of Music has been held annually in Kaftat since 2007. Kaftat is an exceedingly pretty town and is a great place to base yourself in if you are after all the sights and culture of Dubrovnik but don't want the hustle and bustle. It is very easy to travel from Kaftat to Dubrovnik by bus or boat. The city is very close, actually, from Dubrovnik airport. The restaurants in Kaftat base their gastronomic offer on the Dalmatian and Mediterranean cuisine. Fish, vegetables and olive oil, and they seek for and follow the modern gastronomic trends. In numerous taverns and rural houses, the inland of Konavli offers traditionally prepared plain fare and healthy food in a unique atmosphere of the old Konavli houses. Kaftat is a true pearl by the Adriatic Sea and for many is one of the most beautiful places for a beach vacation in the Drugovnik region. This coastal town enchants with a beautiful old town where lovely places such as historic town palaces, churches and museums are located. However, a real highlight are the wonderful beaches and idyllic bays which are not far from the center. Also unique is the romantic harbor with the lively waterfront promenade. It connects the town center with the numerous restaurants, cafes and stores with the picturesque bays. The area around Kaftat is stunning and also offers plenty of attractions worth seeing. There are quite a number of amazing things to do in Kaftat. 
Among the absolute highlights are the pittoresque harbor with the old town and two green peninsulas and also the beautiful beaches which invite to sunbathe and relax. That you don't miss anything on your trip, we have summarized the best attractions and activities here. The old town of Kaftat is located directly by the sea and is nestled between the two peninsulas, Sustiepan and Rat. Here is also the tourist center with a wide selection of good restaurants and cozy cafe bars. The absolute highlight is the enchanting waterfront, which is probably one of the most beautiful in southern Croatia. During a walk, you can enjoy a really magical flair with a great view of the turquoise sea and the countless boats gently rocking in the water. The city center of Kaftat enchants above all with a lot of historical flair and numerous interesting attractions from various eras. Unique are the old palaces, residences and churches as well as the small museums, which all testify to a rich cultural heritage. Probably the most beautiful church is the St. Nicholas Church from 1732, which is located on the waterfront and essentially characterizes the townscape. One of the most famous attractions in Kaftat is the mausoleum of Rachik family. Situated on a high hill above the town, you can enjoy a spectacular view of Kaftat from up here. In the center of the village, on the green peninsulas as well as in the immediate vicinity, you will enjoy a whole variety of breathtaking bathing bays. Fantastic is that all these fabulous beaches are connected by the pittoresque waterfront promenade so you can reach them easily on foot or by bike. One of the most popular beach is Zal Beach, a long fine pebbles beach with enchanting watercolors, which even partially turns into a sandy beach in the sea. Thus, bathing is also very well possible without bathing shoes, which many vacationers with children appreciate very much. The tourist offer of restaurants, bars and accommodations is also excellent here. The Beach Rot is located on the peninsula Rot along the charming promenade and is a real pearl in Kaftat. The most beautiful is the charming backdrop of the bay with the turquoise sea color and the green pine forests in the background. Directly behind the beach, there is also a quaint restaurant that delights with delicious local specialties. Thanks to the perfect location, you can go on really breathtaking excursions and day trips from Kaftat. Here are the best attractions and excursion destinations in the area, summarized at a glance. The most famous attraction around Kaftat is the UNESCO World Heritage City of Dubrovnik, only 20 kilometers away, which delights with numerous unforgettable things to see. Some more worth seeing places in the vicinity of Kaftat are the small resorts of Mlini, Plat and Kupari, which can be easily reached by bus or taxi boat. Kaftat is the perfect place to go on day trips to Montenegro, which is also 30 kilometers away. Herceg Novi, Perast and Kotor are just a few of the highlights you can visit via an excursion.